welcome to teach mechanical youtube channel today we are discussing about uh, fluid dynamics uh, equation of motion and bernoulli's theorem so bernoulli's equation derivation right we go for fluid dynamics the fluid mechanics is also referred to as fluid dynamics by considering fluid at rest as well as special case of motion with zero velocity here the fluid dynamics means uh, consider the fluid at rest as well as special case of motion and with force also right next the equation of motion uh, equation of motion is according to the newton second law of uh, here see the newton law of, uh, second law of motion the next force the uh, sorry the net force fx acting on a fluid element in which direct uh, in which uh, in the direction of x is equal to mass m of fluid element multiplied by multiplied by the acceleration a, a x in the x direction thus mathematically f x equal to m into a x okay force equal to mass into acceleration that is a uh, called as a equation of motion uh, in in the fluid flow the following forces are present okay these are all the forces uh, first one uh, fg gravitation gravity force uh, second one fp pressure force fv velocity sorry viscosity force due to viscosity fp force due to turbulence uh, next one fc force due to compressibility okay that's the equation of net force fx equal to fgx and then fpx fvx and ftx and fcx okay with the force due to compressibility uh, is negligible resulting force why it is negligible for incompressible flow there is no compressible force so f fc is negligible so fgt and fp fgx fpx and fvx and ftx okay the equation is uh, equation of motion are also called as a Reynolds equation of motion okay uh, the, for flow where ft is negligible the resultant equation of motion is known as navier stoke equation right the flow is assumed to be ideal viscous force is zero and the equation of motion is euler's equation okay uh, next we go for bernoulli's equation okay bernoulli's equation derived from Euler's equation here uh, four assumption is made for Bernoulli's equation what are the assumptions first one the fluid is ideal so that is a uh, viscosity equal to zero okay viscosity equal to zero and the flow is steady okay and then the flow is incompressible and then flow is irrotational okay these are all the four assumption take for uh, Bernoulli's equation derivation first we have to derive Euler's equation and then from the Euler's equation we go for Bernoulli's equation right uh, is the Bernoulli's equation first you go for Euler's equation derivation uh, the, this one is consider a streamline this is a streamline okay consider this is a streamline uh, consider a streamline in which flow is taking place in s direction right a s direction flow is taking place as shown in figure figure is given consider a cylindrical element of cross section da okay area of the cylindrical element da and length ds the force acting on the cylindrical element are uh, first one pressure force okay pressure force pressure into area okay in direction of flow okay in the direction of flow here the uh, pressure force is mentioned here okay and then pressure force direction opposite direction second p plus dou b by dou x uh, into ds da okay this that is called as a pressure force on uh, opposite uh, to the direction of flow okay third one weight of the element rho g da ds in figure mentioned here okay mentioned here and let theta is the angle between the direction of flow and line of action of the weight element see here theta 
Next, the resultant force on the fluid element in the direction S must be equal to the mass of the fluid element into acceleration in S direction. So, the resultant force is P into dA that is flow direction and this is opposite direction. So, here uh, denoted as minus this indicates the opposite direction and then weight towards uh, acting on downward direction. So, minus rho g dA ds cos theta ok this is the vertical component so cos theta and then you go for uh, mass rho into dA ds uh, density equal to mass by volume here uh, mass equal to density into area sorry density into volume ok dA is area and ds is length so this is a volume so rho into volume this is a mass and uh, multiplication with the as x acceleration in s direction where a s is a acceleration in the direction of s now a s equal to uh, acceleration equal to velocity divided by time you know all uh, very well so a s equal to dv by dt where v is the function of uh, s and t v is the function of s and t here dou v by dou s and uh, dou s by dou t ok so uh, dou v by dou s into ds by dt uh, plus dv by dt ok uh, it can be written as like that and then uh, dou v by here v into dou v by dou s ds by dt equal to v into dou v by dou t plus one the dou v by dou t ok here ds e divided by dt equal to v so dou v by dou t equal to 0 so a s equal to v into dou v by dou s ok this term you remember and then substitute in the equation 1 ok substitute as value in equation 1 next so, uh, so up here see one more here you multiple here you multiple with uh, uh, this term da inside the p and da and minus p into da cancel remaining term only you are showcasing here minus dou b by dou s ds by ds into da minus rho g da ds cos theta p into da ds as is uh, substituting like uh, v into dou v by dou s uh, dividing uh, rho ds da uh, both the side here uh, substitute here dou b by rho into dou s here minus g into uh, cos theta equal to v in dou v by dou s ok this term after that dou v by rho into d dou s plus g into cos theta plus v into dou v by dou s equal to 0 here cos theta equal to you know very well cos theta equal to watch that cos theta equal to adjacent divided by hypothesis here uh, adjacent is dz uh, divided by ds so uh, g into dz divided by ds ok uh, refer this uh, triangle here and uh, dou b by rho equal rho plus here dou b by rho so d uh, dou b by rho plus z dz v dou v here uh, commonly uh, uh, put out uh, ds and then uh, equating to 0 remaining term is uh, dou b by rho plus z dz plus v dv equal to 0 this is equation 2 uh, that is called as a Euler equation of motion right after that you go for Bernoulli's equation Bernoulli's equation is obtained by integrating above Euler's equation ok after integrating above Euler's equation uh, you got uh, Bernoulli's equation ok so integrating dou b by rho and uh, g into dz v into dv equal to constant right if the flow is incompressible rho is constant you know very well and after that uh, p by rho plus uh, after integrating p by rho plus gz plus v square divided by 2 equal to constant ok you are you are dividing uh, by g p by rho g plus z plus v square divided by 2g equal to constant right so p by rho g is pressure gate here yeah, pressure energy and v square divided by 2g kinetic energy z is potential energy ok sum of pressure energy 
kinetic energy and potential energy equal to constant that is uh, derived from Bernoulli's equation next we go for application of Bernoulli's equation uh, uh, the Bernoulli's equation applied for orifice meter venturi meter pitot tube okay if you have any doubt uh, post in comment section i will reply uh, as much as possible thanks for watching thank you